Usually, people like to be taken seriously, but there's a group of people in the world who take things not seriously, and we love them for it. In what you're about to watch, these are the people we're trying to understand. Comedians.、Hmm? How do they do it? How do they turn the everyday into entertainment that makes us laugh time after time? And what does it mean to be a comedian in the modern day? All good questions. What? We will find definitive answers to these questions as we tell you how to be funny. The documentary sort of by Thomas Madden. How absurd is it that it's actually a job to stand on a stage and make people laugh? But it doesn't always go to plan. The risk of failure is what makes being a comedian such a dangerous career path. Not like actually dangerous, like going to war or anything, but like it might hurt your feelings. Is that Kyle?、Oh. Yeah. Yes. Hello. How you doing? Kyle. Can hear you guys. Yeah, he, can you hear me? Hear Are you there? Hello.、He's, we can see him right okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Got him. I didn't. Is appearing in a student documentary like this for free ironic, or is it some sort of kind of compulsory charity work? It's more, I guess, sad or like like when you stand in a dog do and you're like, there's a moment just like, oh, this is where I'm at. Like, there's nothing I can do now. I'm in it. I'm. It's on me, and it smells.、Um, so just find the nearest, you know, stick or grass or whatever you can to kind of just wipe it off, I guess. Thanks, Kyle. <sighs> We went to comedian Tegan Higginbotham to find out if it's a healthy job or it's, not. It's a, it is not a healthy job. That's for sure. There are a lot of aspects of comedy, especially stand-up comedy. You know, you've got no, there's no,、um, you don't know where your money is coming from. You don't know when the next job is going to be. If you've got a family, I can't imagine how stressful it would be trying to keep your stand-up alive、mm. if you've got a kid at home. Like that's already, I just see that creating so much dr- stress. And if you're somebody like me who thrives off of routine, oh, comedy's not good for that. <laughs> it's not a job I would recommend. Uh, for the faint-hearted to take up, it's mostly failing. That's the thing about stand-up comedy. You know, people see stand-up on the TV, and and they possibly don't realise that all of those jokes have been workshopped. And for the every five minutes of good material you see on TV, there's another thirty-five minutes that died in the ass. It's a depressing job. <laughs> it just is, and it it does seem to attract a lot of people from odd. Backgrounds, people who have had uncomfortable, awkward family upbringings, people like myself. So, are comedians crazy? Don't they have to be happy, funny, and empathetic to do their job? Surely, all of this definitive research is wrong, and the life of a comedian is filled with sunshine and rainbows. So, what do you think of the research that suggests there's a link between comedians and depression? Well, there definitely is.、Uh, I mean. Uh, statistically, I, I think there is a high amount of depression, but it can be a very depressing job. I know lots of sad people <laughs> that are comedians. It's certainly an industry where, if you say already had depression, if there is already some form of mel- mental illness there, comedy is not going to help it. I think it's probably only going to make that shit worse.、Mm-hmm. That said, I think that comedy is also an industry where we are encouraged to talk about our feelings. That is the job. You get up on stage and you talk about yourself. So we are, by nature, more open about those sorts of things. I'm curious as to whether there would be people in other jobs, like in banking, in retail, working in offices, who feel exactly the same, but just by nature don't talk about that stuff. This is a professional-looking animation showing someone getting weed on by a dog. The first is a regular person. They get angry and upset. The second person is a comedian who sees the light in the situation and jokes about it. We can all learn something from this. Don't trust dogs. It is a great way of turning a tragic, horrible event from your perf- from your life into into a piece of、uh, sometimes art. So yeah, it is. Yeah, it's depression can be fodder for for comedy, but it's you know you're playing with fire. So if they're not all crazy, if they're not all depressed. What are they then? They have to be something. No, maybe we don't need to categorise them. Maybe they're individuals. Well, then, what has this all been for? They find comedy in different places, in different ways. This film has just been a waste. No, it's a metaphor. A metaphor. Explain it to me in voiceover. Sure. This whole time we've put into practice exactly what comedians do. We stepped in front of the audience, uncertain, naive, <laughs> clutching at half-written notes with ideas worth trying. 
Sure, it drove us a little insane at times, but we gave it a shot, and that's what comedians do. We didn't know if any of it would work, but just like a comedian, we can't decide that. The audience decides. Yeah, you know, I think the only thing strange about all of this is that we've demonstrated no narcissism. So, we are comedy. I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Is there some sort of initiation fee when you start being funny? Well, uh, you, it's $250 and you get obviously the red nose, the crazy shoes, and then a, someone calls just in the middle of your the initiate, always at an awkward moment. Hang on, I'll, I'll see who it is. It could be a famous comedian. <laughs> Hello, is that someone from comedy? 